Hey guys, this is Norman over with Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about LED compensation mode. What it is, how it works, and what it does for your model. So let's get started. So here in front of us we have this Athern SD80 Mac factory equipped with the Tsunami 2, and it has LED lighting in it. Now, so Athern has already set up this model to use the LED compensation mode from the factory, but there's a lot in, let's say, your own installs, there can be a lot of confusion around what exactly LED compensation mode does. Now, in order to explain this, a little bit of theory. LEDs respond differently to changes in voltage and amperage to for a traditional incandescent bulb. A traditional incandescent what it will do is it actually responds best when creating an effect like a Mars light, it actually responds best to changes in voltage, whereas an LED responds best to changes in amperage. So LED compensation mode allows us to change the output of the decoder so that it varies either the voltage for an incandescent lamp or the amperage for an LED. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. So on this model, we're going to go ahead and set the headlight to be a Mars light with grade crossing logic. So we're going to set 49 to 66. And if we turn on the headlight, you can see it's on solid. But if I blow the horn, right now the model is muted, you can see that it's trying to be a Mars light, but that effect is not actually very intense. And this is because right now we don't have LED compensation enabled and the decoder is varying the output voltage. However, if I now change this CB49 to a value of 194 and I blow the horn again, you can see that the effect is now much more pronounced. And that's LED compensation mode at work. So LED compensation mode can be enabled for any effect on the Tsunami 2. All you do is add 128 to the effect value you are attempting to put into whatever lighting output configuration CV you are adjusting. Now this effect is applicable to our Econami, Tsunami 2, and Blue Nami. So if you want just that little bit more pop on your, light, on your lighting effects, make sure you enable LED compensation mode. That's going to be all for this video. If you have any further questions, make sure to check out our user's guides at Soundtracks.com. If you have any further questions, contact us at support at Soundtracks.com. And be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, so you get notified the next time we upload great instructional videos like this.